Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And apparently it's only right wingers that are angry and entitled about kid stuff. Uh, th this made me laugh so hard. Um, grow the F up. I know somebody who says that to people that are on the opposite of what they're talking about all the damn time. Also, how clever she is with a pink elephant. <laughs> you go. So this is coming from the Daily Beast. We're going to talk about this because, this, you know, look, the pop culture war has become very, very bitter. And uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of people on the left that have been using pop culture to to attack their adversaries. I've seen more. I, I've seen an awful lot of bullying and it yeah. really, especially in places like Twitter. And it definitely leans one way politically more so than the other. That being said, we lean more that way politically than the other and that's why we're calling it out yeah so this is coming from the daily beast this is uh to kind of touch on a video i did yesterday talking about the decline in ad revenue for a lot of these websites this was behind the paywall they have more and more articles behind paywalls now and i paid it we'll pay it yeah, yeah well th th this whole thing is just to get you to click to pay the thing to read yeah. you know oh it's because it's, it's because of gop I, I guarantee you that a lot of the people that are like, I usually associate with like, you know, far hard right Republicans aren't usually watching the kids' cartoons. No, uh, no. But I know another group that does. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the groups that actually do watch, uh, watch these things and demand changes and threaten creators and all of that jazz. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 187,000 subs. Woo! Uh, thank you so much for the support. We do talk about animation. We talk about Disney. We talk about pop culture. Whatever interests us that day. Well, and wait, uh, I'm yeah. looking at the title here. Entitled Disney Adults. Wait, wait. So basically, if you are a, a, an adult who likes Disney, this person is trying to say that you're angry and you are the, part of the GOP. Now, I know an awful lot of adults who like Disney. I mean, we ourselves, you know, have been adults that cover Disney for years. Um, wasn't Republican. I know a lot of adults who like Disney who aren't. Republicans. Yeah, this is weird because actually when I think of a Disney adult, a lot of times I think of uh, a childless millennial, mm -hmm. you know, who does Disney and does the whole uh, cosplay thing, the Disney bounding thing and has the Disney vlog and and uh, it's I'm not thinking Republican nuclear family. Yeah, the other thing I think of is the wine moms. The wine moms, yeah. Yeah, and usually they're so hard trying to say that they're on. You know, they're, they're trying to pander to be and like, oh look how you know good we are, and we want to we want to appeal to as many people as possible. So they tend to either not be political at all, or they tend to definitely lean leftish more um, than right. But anyway. Uh, so this is coming from uh, well, who is this? Aaron Gloria Ryan. Do not contact her. No. Uh, do not contact her. But here we go. The anti-woke anti movement is disproportionately focused on... Car wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The anti-woke movement is disproportionately focused on cartoons, theme parks, picture books, movies that feature kids uh, talking snowmen and magic mirrors, things there for children. Before we get into this any further, can I show people a couple of headlines here? Yes. All right. So the anti-woke movement is disproportionately focused on... Anything cartoons. that's entertainment. Kids cartoon Bluey criticized for not having disabled, queer, poor, gender diverse, or dogs of color. We've got uh, Star Wars infamous diversity problem is summed up in this one cutting tweet. We have uh, 15 examples of LGBTQ characters on kids shows because sometimes TV does good things. Uh, it's time to get real about racial diversity in comics and D&D &D must grapple with the racism in fantasy. Yeah, you're right. It's just all the, the, the alt-right that are just out there, you know, pointing the this crap out. And, and want. Look, I've been covering pop culture and I've been covering Disney for a long time. And I got to tell you, there's always going to be extremists um, on either side. That always is the case. But if you look at the division and the issues and the ones that are out there calling people names and bullying the most, it's usually the side you're saying is the side that's completely innocent. If someone's getting pissed and, and so invested in a cartoon that they demand their ships, um, they, we're talking, we're not, ta not talking about teenagers, we're talking about grown ass adults who are demanding their ships, harassing, you know, like Raylos, harassing Adam's, Adam drivers to the place that his wife had to hide, mm -hmm. drop off of social media and they had to hide the birth of their, their son. Grown ass adults. But yes, yes, do go on how it's, you know, the, the GOP 
<laughs> because I, I on their platforms when they're running for office, I often hear either the GOP or the Democrats go on about, you know, cartoons and movies and all that in their in their speeches and in their platform. If if pop culture has become a battleground, a political battleground, which unfortunately it has, uh unfortunately this is what we talk about on this channel a lot because it is the whole thing i'll agree this whole thing is obnoxious and fucking weird that pop culture has become a battleground it's because pop culture influences people uh children's entertainment teaches people i mean hell we still remember you know the psas tacked onto the end of cartoons we watched as kids he-man and she-ra and gi joe mm -hmm. you know all of that so you know it is it is important and, and, and the people that are trying to commandeer that to use for political messaging know it. Yeah, well, that's just it. People were coming into these fandoms that have been established for years that were welcome to everyone. It wasn't yeah. just like, oh, it's just the white straight men. No. They have been open to everyone for years. It has been a trend as of late for massive gatekeeping to suddenly appear on these shows and for these reboots to come. And because, you know, Hollywood can't do something new. No, that's too, that's too hard. We're just going to assign it to these. And they're usually 20-something year old adults mm -hmm. so they can they can insert their agendas and relive you know their, their proms and go through their therapy and then and, and everybody else has to sit there and be part of it and if you don't enjoy it and love it it's because you're a bad person and it's like i blame the media i blame articles like this one yeah i blame twitter and you know what it's not the kids they're adults doing it that are causing the issues oh yeah so you know potato potato pot kettle you know, you know, tomato, tomato, Tom you know Mater. what? Tom yeah. Mater. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, we can do this all day, honey. So what seemed to have, have tipped this? And this is exactly what we said was going to happen. This is going to happen. Was this Orlando Sentinel opinion piece? The, uh, the one about the guy saying that, uh, you know, he loves Disney world, but the wokeness is ruining the experience Which happens to come out right before it gets leaked about the uh, the weird shenanigans going on on this, you know, purity test. And I'm sorry, uh, privilege exams. The privilege Checklists, exams. I'm sorry, privilege checklists. And all these, you know, training things at Disney. And then, but they have this article where they're mocking somebody for saying about wokeness and how dare he, right before the other stuff gets, in it, gets leaked. That is weird. It's a little weird. You know, it's almost like... Because we know the Orlando Sentinel does definitely lean left. Mm -hmm, no question. Um, there's no question about that. It's a little weird that, you know, this comes out and all of a sudden there's all this sudden you know, defense of Disney's diversity and inclusion. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, it's just a bunch of angry Republicans. We're not that's, even Republican. That's not, the, that's not the typical audience, though. A lot of Disney's fans are completely apolitical, you know, and people used to be more apolitical. What's happening is we used to have... The vast majority of Americans, not not that politically invested, like hey, I'll vote for this guy or I'll vote for that guy or whatever, and, uh, and then they went about their business. But now, because of the media, everyone has become so hyper polarized. Well, everything you know. is supposed to be Everything's, used for yeah. a weapon, including kids' cartoons. You got to get them young to make sure that they vote the way you want them to when they're an adult. Um, and I'll say that on every on both sides because I've seen it go both ways there. Again, you can't say that this is just a, a right-wing thing when there have been years, years. I mean, this, this article goes back to 2015. I would say starting 2014, 2015. I, I, when I saw the headline, I just, I was like, I just couldn't stop laughing. I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's the angle you're going to go with now? All right. You know, all this, I mean, this is just a very small smattering of politicized, taking pop culture and politicizing it. How many years of Last Jedi articles did we have? Um, articles attacking fans. How many Zack Snyder fan articles have we had recently? You know, everything, I mean, if, if it's not a big deal, then why did you spend so much time on Gamergate? Why did you spend so much time? Mm -hmm. Why do you keep trying to bring it back? Video games are just for kids. So just, why, why, does, why, why worry about it? Why, why make movies about it? about it? You're adults. Why uh, you yeah, about it? it's about, it's beneath you. Um, any fandom ever, uh, if, if you're a fan of since you're a kid is beneath you now as an adult, except for the people that are causing a lot of the issues or that are, are like, so their identity is so wrapped up in these cartoons are adults. 
So here we go. There's nothing inherently wrong with adults who haven't lost touch with their inner child. Adults without kids who do things like vacation at Disneyland or collect illustrated children's books. There's everything wrong with expecting children's media and spaces to cater to the tastes of adults. I agree. So why the hell do we have that reboot of She-Ra? Why the hell did we get the, you know, th these different things with agendas shoved in? It's inappropriate for parents to expect adult-focused media and spaces to cater primarily to children. It's just as stupid for parents to get angry at the content of an R-rated film as it is for adults to get angry that Pepe Le Pew won't be appearing in Space Jam. Well, that wasn't the issue. If you actually went and looked and did your homework, you'd find out that a lot of the problems people have with the Pepe Le Pew situation is in the movie, it was going to be a teachable moment where he was going to get, you know, told his behavior is unacceptable. And the one actress that was supposed to play opposite him, which I think was not a white woman, um, yeah. got yeah. her part cut. Because they cut out Pepe Le Pew, and Pepe Le Pew, it's, he's no, no one thinks that that's the correct way to behave. He's always played for a boy, what a cringy asshole. And they were going to actually just double down that cringy asshole idea. And people were like, wait, so you're cutting it out, but you, you could, they were going to use it for, re, to, to put him and give him his comeuppance, show people why it wasn't right. And you cut it. So now nothing gets corrected. Adult tantrum throwing has become the norm of the American right again. Um, adult tantrum throwing. You mean like this article? <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, you mean like this article, honey? Here's okay. So this is what it's about. This got posted today. It's about the. Uh, oh my god! It is about that. It is. Oh my god! It's about. I told you, bam. Okay, so this is. If you didn't watch our previous video, it has been leaked, and this isn't about the theme park experience. They're trying to to play this down. Disney basically they're making their employees go through this diversity and inclusion training program, which is really sus i'm going to use the uh -huh. word the kids use really sus because you basically oh, go how dare you appropriate that it's because you're a grown-ass adult <laughs> shame on you and it's not about the theme parks it's not about mickey mouse it's about the workplace basically having people you know get presenting them with a privilege checklist and some of the some of the concepts in there i'm, I'm sorry they're straight up racist either they're sorting people into uh, quote, unquote, houses based on their racial identity. This is not just like, it's just kid stuff. It's like, no, this is actual uh, real world uh, problem causing issues. It, it Could we just had a friend uh, leave us a message said, I would be surprised if they got sued mm -hmm. over this because it is very discriminatory. This isn't just about like, oh my God, it's just the Mickey Mouse thing. Well, one thing I forgot to mention the other in the other video, but they, I think they've mentioned on Newsweek, they're saying about, well, they want people to be less, you know, the, 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 the white, uh, the white way of looking at things is because everything is either racist or anti-racist. And I'm like, have you been to Twitter? You're, there's no middle ground. Like people like us have been calling for middle, you know, we're like, you know, we need to stop behaving this way. We've been calling for it for a while. Um, it's, it's places like Twitter that perpetuate it. Play articles like this one that perpetuate this. The vision <sighs> shit. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So this is, um, you know, they're going about how Fox News has all this power. Apparently, you do realize in Hollywood, conservatives are definitely in the minority, right? Mm -hmm. Like conservatives are actively being driven out of Hollywood. So it's so funny to be like, well, Fox News dictates everything well, that happens in entertainment now. Beyond that, how ridiculous. We shouldn't be talking in absolutes. It's not fair. Adults need to grow up. As she talks in absolutes that if you have a problem with kids shows, it's because you're angry Disney fan GOP people. I know for a fact a lot of our listeners aren't Republicans. They aren't white. All this other stuff. So her whole, her whole basis for her argument right from the get-go is flawed. I love this. They always try to do this too. These these far oh, capitalism is bad, socialism good kind of thing. Uh, it's capitalism. They have a right to. They do. They do have a right to conduct business the way that they see fit. But the thing is, is that uh, it is going to hurt their bottom line. So capitalism is useful. Free markets are useful when you can use it to get rid of your political enemies. But as soon as you say, okay, fine, let's just straight in go capitalism. You know where? Yeah. We it's not fair. It's not fair that certain people didn't get a promotion or certain movies aren't hmm. getting a sequel. So people or... are allowed, companies are allowed to do the business as they see fit unless they do something you don't like. And then how dare they? They shouldn't do that because capitalism is bad. I don't know how many articles we've seen about not just, just other companies too. Well, on one, one side, oh, they're allowed to do it. If they're doing something you don't like, it's because they're allowed to as a company. But if you do something they don't like, how dare you? You need to change this. You need to do better. It's The double standards are just beyond this whole article is one double standard 
Oh my God. I know it's a faux pas to question the intelligence of the Trump voting spite beef eating what? lead pipe. What? Was she a vegetarian or something? I don't know. I Blue lives matter, except not all blue lives. How effing stupid are the people who think Disney is making multi-million dollar changes to its theme parks because Disney is afraid of people who get mad at them no. online? No, well, how, and no more ridiculous than you trying to argue they're making changes to their theme park to appease people like you. When the theme park changes, as we pointed out, like Splash Mountain, were rumored for years, and they had the concept art really fast because it wasn't just because of the current climate and the, the blue lives matter bullshit that you're trying to spin. It's because they were going to do it anyway, and they knew they'd get pushbacks so they're trying to leverage it when they don't they think they'll get the least amount of pushback she's got to be she's got to be a vegan because she brings up uh woke being a, a a slang for the left going too far you know fox news alert lesson learned from past more on this outrage after these 10 ads for all beef colostomy bags yeah this whole Come thing on. what, a, what is this, nutty th- this whole thing is this she's this okay this whole article is just she's a she's bitter because there isn't going the way she wants, and she clearly has against people that eat meat. And don't you know, if you don't vote the way she votes, it's because you're, you're, you're lesser of intelligence than she is. You're dumb. Um, which is going to be, her head's going to explode when she finds out that we aren't Republicans. So I guess we're the same intelligence, and we still think she's full of shit. Oh, going on about Mr. Potato Head. God, how long did it take her to write this? Is she getting paid by the word? Who the F cares? I don't know. Why? You wrote a whole article. About and she makes it about, about Fox veganism. News. Fox, the whole article can be summed up with eh, 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 angry white guys, GOP cartoons. Kind of what else to put in there? Veganism, veganism. Uh, Fox News, Fox News. Two effing cares. I'm like, you literally spent all this time writing an article, you know, saying that you about how triggered people are as you're triggered. It's not, yeah. That, that, like this doesn't make God. I just think it's so ironic. Now that they're saying that what a, what a baby. <laughs> Sorry. It's so ironic that after years, years of attacking media and demanding changes uh, to kids' media, to toys. Remember, you know, you're not allowed to have gendered toy aisles. Mm-hmm. Now you're you know, all these things that were demanded by far left activists. Now they're the Daily Beast, which is a very far left publication. Now all of a sudden they're like it's the it's the uh, the right wingers. And they every, demanded it. They, 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 they was them. Everybody who thinks that maybe these companies are going too far to pander, uh, it is it is their fault. Uh, their their Fox News loving beef eating oh, of lesser intelligence than her of lesser intelligence uh, than her. And this whole thing reads like a Tumblr rant. This is what these blogs are. I can't believe I paid for this shit. Well, we'll make more. I'm mo- only paid for to make fun of it. We'll make more money off this video than than she probably got paid for the article. So mm-hmm. whatever. But it, it, the mental gymnastics, capitalism, baby. Yeah, <laughs> capitalism, The mental baby. gymnastics that she went through on this is just ridiculous. And any even just doing your due diligence in the slightest, you could find out that you know there's two sides to the story and it's not just you know the heart and soul of the gop and adult and angry entitled disney adults so uh, like you really have no idea what you're talking about. we cover both pop culture and disney you're full of shit so here's here's the thing right and she goes on about capitalism most capitalists like real like actual capitalist business owners uh, those type of people, people that, that you know believe in the capitalist system, they tend to, they might not be far right, but they tend to be more conservative because those are conservative values. Not always. Not always. They, you know. A lot of people that, that have uh, money to spend on places like Disney, yeah, they're, they're going to probably be capitalists. They're going to probably have a little bit of a conservative streak in them if they're a business owner. Um I don't want to tell. I have to read this whole article. All I just want to say is, grow the f up. Yeah. So we're gonna see more of this. And look, what this is designed to do. Again, this was behind a paywall, and I talked about this with BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed. Now, um, I don't think I, I talked to you about it. what happened with BuzzFeed is after years of attacking people and building mm-hmm. their entire business model on attacking people. Now the the uh, the next ad apocalypse is coming because Google's getting rid of the the cookies. Right within the next year or two, mm-hmm. so now they have to go do direct ad sales to keep up the revenue. Oh, so they have to build their audience back without you know. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry, but I'm not. But you come back so I make money. Yeah, and what they they said they they were like, oh, we're gonna be inspirational now. We're gonna be inspirational news. We're gonna get people to inspire creativity and da da da. After spending a decade of plus on shitting on people and mm-hmm. and and pushing fake legit fake news, proven fake news. Uh, now BuzzFeed's decide they're going to take the moral high ground, mm-hmm. and that's their that's going to be their marketing strategy. After they've laid people off, 
They're well, going to take the moral. When you dug a hole that deep, even if you take the moral high ground, you're still in the hole. <laughs> they're going to take the moral high ground by producing a Gamergate comedy movie. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna make, which is insulting on two fronts. One, you're trying to bring Gamergate back, and you're vilifying people that necessarily that, that not everybody deserves to be vilified. And two, you're you know bringing back the painful shit that a lot of women said was painful for them. And they want to forget just to make money. Way to piss off everyone. That that's capitalism, baby. Yeah, but this article, I mean, this the title even it's laughable. And if and this is. I can't even grow the F up. It's like, you clearly do not know what the hell you're talking about. You have just, you're just trying to get clickbaity article yep. to try to get someone to buy your shit. Yep. Uh, if you've covered Disney, if you've covered pop culture for years, like we have, and by the way, again, so cause just cause she, she's not, you know, to make sure she can get through the intelligence, you know, intelligence block she has, uh, we're not Republican. Sorry. Um, you know, you're full of crap. You'd know that if you if you yeah, actually like you know did your homework. Get off of Twitter. Uh huh. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Mm -hmm. This is pain. This was painful. This is painful to read. Uh, they're very desperate. These people are very desperate to. It's like it's too little, too late. Sum it up for you. It's just basically it's not even about what she says it's about. She mentions cartoons once, mostly complain a couple times, mostly complains Fox about News. Fox News yeah. and and people eating meat, and <laughs> and, and people who vote Republican because they're stupid compared to her. And meat. And, yeah, and, and also meat and Fox and then News. Meat, you know, <sighs> I'm gonna go get a burger now. There we go. Go get Mr. Beast burger. We're gonna go get some burgers. We'll All talk right. to you later. Bye.